just when you thought it filled every niche possible, Mercedes came up with this, the CLA. Now, if you get a bit confused with the Mercedes lineup, which I tend to, then really it's an A-class with a boot, or even a baby CLS. As you can see, it's got all the fancy lines and sleek design of the bigger CLS and A-class, with the aggressive front grille and pinch front lights. The manufacturer is hoping that this will help the CLA appeal to a younger buyer. The back end doesn't just look good, it's pretty practical too. I mean, there's 471 litres of space in here. It's about 130 litres more than the A-class, though the kind of coupe looks do mean this opening's a bit awkward. Now, we'll see what that sloping roof line does to the space in the rear seat. Despite all that added room in the back of the boot, things in here are pretty similar to the A-Class. I mean, the rear leg room's okay, but in terms of headspace, because of the sloping roof line, I'm only five for eight and I'm hitting my head against it. So while the kind of young, trendy types will be comfortable and happy in the front, their friends in the back might not be having such a good time. The rest of the CLA's cabin is very similar to the A-Class, so the design is de rigueur, but the quality is not quite up to that of an Audi A3 which is a bit of a shame considering the starting price is around 24 grand. The CLA will initially come with a 1.6 litre CLA 180 and the 2.1 litre CLA 220 diesel engine. This will be the most economical car in the range with emissions of 109 grams per kilometre and 67 mpg. More powerful 2 litre CLA 250 petrol will join the range later. While the majority of the cars will be front wheel drive, there's also the option of four wheel drive available. So this is the CLA 250. Uh, the two litre engine produces 208 brake horsepower. Um, it will do 0 to 62 in about 6.7 seconds. And it's the most powerful petrol engine we'll get in the UK before the AMG version arrives later on. Uh, it's, it's fairly smooth and quite quiet. It's got a bit of power, a bit of punch, but not overly exciting. Uh, it's driven through the seven-speed automatic gearbox, which is okay, but is a little bit delayed in gear changes, particularly in the, in the manual mode, and that can be quite frustrating. Now, the car we're driving uh, has the comfort suspension rather than the sports suspension setup. Uh, it's pretty smooth. It should be the best option for the UK, especially without terrible roads. And in terms of handling, it's, it's fairly sharp, but not, not very exciting. So if you want something for kind of real thrills, the, the CLA probably isn't the best option for you. The CLA is another smart addition to the ever-grown Mercedes lineup, and it certainly looks the part. Now, it does have its problems and flaws in some areas, but this car could just be stylish enough to forget all that. 